Hi, this is Ben Finio, and in this video, I'll be showing how I built this children's toy light switch box. This is one of my more popular projects on Instructables, and it's a great project if you have a baby or toddler who's obsessed with light switches, but you are tired of standing there holding them so they can play with the light switches. This lets you give them a toy that's at their level so you can let them play with it on their own. Even if you're new to electronics, this is a relatively simple project that's pretty easy to build. So what I'll be doing in this video is going over the parts and knowledge you'll need to build the circuit that goes inside the box. First, let's talk about a basic battery-powered circuit with resistors and LEDs. You can see here I have a circuit built on a solder solderless breadboard with a battery pack, resistors, LEDs, some jumper wires, and a switch. When I turn the switch on, electrical current flows from the battery pack through the resistors, through the LEDs, through these jumper wires, through the switch, and then back to the battery pack. If you're not sure how to use a breadboard or how to choose resistor sizes for LEDs, I have separate tutorial videos about that linked in the description. The basic idea here is that we have this circuit, in this case with a tiny switch, and built on a breadboard. All you're going to do to build the box is take this same circuit and use a much larger regular light switch and then mount it inside of a box instead of building it on the breadboard. Now let's look at light switches. So if you've never seen one disassembled before, these are all parts you can go find at a hardware store. There's the plastic box that holds the switch, the switch itself which fits inside the box, and then the faceplate or cover that goes on top of the switch, and then little screws that hold them all together. If you look at the switch more closely, you'll see two screws on one side and then usually a third screw that's green. You don't have to worry about that. That applies to household wiring when you have a third ground wire but in our case, we're just gonna connect, going to connect our circuit to these two screws that will allow us to put our switch in series with the other components in the circuit and turn things on and off. So here I have an example circuit where I have used alligator clips to attach my switch to my battery pack and my resistor and LED. So I just have one circuit in series here and you can see when I turn the switch on, the LED turns on. Again, this is pretty much the same as the circuit I had built here, except now it's no longer on a breadboard I have the whole thing wired with alligator clips. So what you're going to want to do to build this circuit inside the box is get yourself some hookup wire, which you can buy in spools. And the connections are going to be much sturdier if you solder everything. So I don't have my own soldering tutorial, but you can get a cheap soldering iron and there are tons of introduction to soldering tutorials on YouTube. And you can solder these connections together or you can get away with just kind of twisting wires together like I've done here with the resistor and the LED and then crimping them together with a pair of needle nose pliers, but that's not going to hold up as well in the long run to abuse by small children, so soldering is definitely going to give you much sturdier connections that will hold up for a lot longer. So now let's go back to what the box looks like from the front. You see I have holes drilled for the LEDs and holes cut out for the blue plastic box that holds the switches. You'll notice that hole is smaller than the actual faceplate or cover that then goes on and covers the perimeter of the hole so you get a smooth looking surface. The switches are mounted inside the hole and you can't quite see it from the front here but I have my hookup wires attached to the screws on this switch so you can just barely see it there. I have wires attached to each one of those switches, and if I flip it over, this looks a little messy, but I just have four LEDs and resistors wired in parallel with this battery pack. So if you look closely, you can see I've stuck the legs of each LED through the holes I drilled in the front. I soldered those directly to the resistor, and then I used hookup wire to connect everything over to the battery pack and to the switches. I do have one more master on-off switch in here, so if you're worried about kids leaving the switches on and draining the battery over time. You can turn the whole thing off with that master on off switch and then that overrides the front switches so the kid can't turn them on. But if you want to leave that on for them to play with it, you just turn that switch on and then these front switches will work. So let's review that one more time with everything on camera at once here. We have our basic circuit with LEDs, batteries, and a switch built on a breadboard. And again, if you're not sure how this works, I have several other tutorials linked in the description introducing breadboards and LEDs and resistors. So you are taking a circuit like this, but instead of building on a breadboard and using this little switch, you are attaching it to a regular light switch, which has these two screws on the side. And again, you can use hookup wire and twist it to those. I've just used alligator clips as a temporary connection here. 
So when I turn this switch on, that turns the LED on, and then you are taking these switches and the mounting boxes, cutting holes in the lid of a box or a wood panel, and just mounting everything on this lid, and then attaching the wiring behind, and then you have your lid, everything fits nicely inside the box. So as always, I hope you found that helpful. You can find a link to the original written instructions on Instructables in the description below the video with some more diagrams and some links to parts if you're not sure where to get things. And if you have a question, you're always free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks.